Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Mythic Mobs tutorial today. Make sure to grab your explosion gear because it is about to get dangerous out here. Today we're going to be covering the explosion mechanic. That's right, the big kaboom. Now, this one's been kind of hard for me because, well, to be honest, I have way too many ideas for this one and I had to find the best ones to narrow it down for you guys. So. What I want to do is showcase them to you, and today, I'm even going to be giving you the files that I used because I love you guys and you have given me tremendous support throughout these tutorials. I'm very appreciative of it, so what I'm going to do is throw every single thing in these files, except for one, because, well, it's a showcase thing. I was asked to make it for a server, so of course I won't be giving it away. However, I will show you what it looks like, and as I was saying, I will throw all of these into a paste bin just for you guys to have. You are welcome. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. So what you're going to want to do, as always, set up your first mob here. I added one extra thing to it today, and I will be showing you why momentarily. First off, this is going to show you some of what the power of the explosion can do. So let me go ahead and spawn in my first mob here. Explosion mob 1. Survival. I decided after one take that I need to put myself into god mode because this is actually terrifying. So my, for my first little thing of explosion, this guy is going to shoot like cosmic entities out of the sky that are going to explode on impact and do a lot, and I mean a lot, of damage. Let me go and show you. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, pretty terrifying because in reality, it does like 10 hearts of damage per explosion, which is pretty freaking nuts. Again, this was made uh, specifically for another server, so I'm not going to go over it. As well as that server offers items that give bonus health, so, you know, of course you're going to be able to withstand it better there. Um, you know what? Server description in the... or er, sorry, server IP in the description below if you ever care to join and see what kind of crazy stuff I've come up with lately. So let's go ahead and get on to a different uh, skill that you guys can go ahead and copy-paste. Next is going to be my skill called Sky Leap. Pretty straightforward. What I decided to do is make a mob that will jump really high in the air, and after touching down on the ground, he's going to explode. Let me go ahead and break this down for you. He do big jump, big boy basketball jump. He wait a few minutes, he explode, and then he do nothing. Hope that's straightforward for you guys. Basically, um. The explosion here is it's only composed of three variables. You have BD or block damage, which is set I have set to true because he's gonna create a crater in the ground. If you set this to false, nothing will happen to your ground. Um, you could do it that way, but I just kinda like the impact look of uh, of this one. So um, Y here, which is yield, which is how powerful the explosion is going to be, which I want to go ahead and throw out now, there is no specific set of mathematics of how big or how powerful the explosion will be based on these numbers. The reason I say this is because if you're familiar with other Y values and like r radius, diameter, stuff like that of Mythic Mobs, you'll know it'll be like 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, that's the yield or that's the radius. Well, TNT, or my apologies, explosion works just like TNT, so there's no guaranteed how far down in the ground it'll go, or if it'll go at all, or how wide it'll go. But it is relative to these numbers, so of course the smaller it is, the smaller the explosion, the bigger it is, well, the bigger it'll be. I went ahead and went with 4 because I thought that was a pretty safe value. So let's go ahead and test out what this skill will look like. So as I go up, right click on him, look at him go, fly boy, fly, and then kaboom. Now let me go ahead and explain this a little bit more to you. Your Y value and your delay here are going to be directly hand in hand with one another. 
Um, the more you change the Y value, the more you're going to have to change the delay. I found that 85 works perfectly with a Y value of 10. Um, but of course, if this is, gets lowered, this can get lowered. If this gets raised, this needs to get raised, etc. Um, and another thing here is velocity, why I have all these zeros here, is because whenever he explodes after hitting the ground, if this isn't here, he'll fly back up in the air a little bit and cause even more damage to himself, which I don't want. I want him to just hit the ground and be done because, well, it's kind of like a superhero landing. You know, if anyone's familiar with Deadpool, you know, that whole scene. Yeah, that's how I like to look at it. But another thing to add here, if you use that kind of skill, you're going to want to add damage modifier fall equals zero or, well, I'm not going to say it out loud, but you can see for yourself that this is how you set it up. Um, this will negate any fall damage he takes from falling from three or more blocks height. Very, very, very important to have if you use this kind of skill. Next, we are going to have a different mob. Let me go ahead and explain it here. So what I decided to do, I copied and pasted it, but if anybody's familiar with Minecraft, if you've been around a while, one thing you know, any mob with a display name of Dinnerbone will be set upside down. This is a very old Minecraft easter egg that thankfully has not been taken out of the game and hopefully never will be. Um, it's very important for the next thing I'm going to be showing you. Here I decided to add a couple more things, no AI and invincible. This is because this type of mob I want to spawn randomly throughout my world and I don't want players going up to it and punching it to death. Let me go ahead and show you. So here's the mob itself. It's just a block of TNT, or, well, at least a custom head of TNT as you can see. But it's very important to have dinner bone because otherwise that block would be up in the air because all it is is a head on top of a husk, but it's upside down so it's in the ground. Another thing here, equipment upside or up down TNT. I'll have this in the paste bin for you guys because I already made a modified variant to where the TNT is actually right side up when it's upside down. Don't get confused by that. Um, original skin th thanks to Lord Raisin. But as I said that will be in the thing. You're gonna want to add a potion of invisibility to any mobs that you have using this feature here. The reason is, is because if it doesn't spawn as invisible, you will see a zombie carcass just kind of sticking straight up out of the TNT. It'll ruin the effect, one, because, well, it's a body that's literally upside down, which is weird. And then, two, um, because here in my primed explosion skill, I have particles that spawn out of the top of t the TNT before it explodes, and if there's a zombie body in the way, you will not be able to see them. So let's go ahead and look at that. I have a play sound here, which is TNT being primed. Uh, here are the particles I have going off before it explodes. I you decide to do a thing here called repeat and repeat interval. Basically, for the particles, it's going to repeat itself, or it's going to happen 20 times, because repeat means the amount of bonus times it'll go off. And the interval is in ticks. So five ticks, if you're familiar with ticks in Minecraft, is a quarter of a second. But basically, 5 times 20, because you're counting the overall thing, equals 100. So you're going to want to have a delay set here. And then you're going to want to do your explosion here. I went ahead and turned on block damage as well as fire, with a pretty high yield of 4. Um, and you're going to want to make sure it removes itself after using this, because otherwise it'll still be there and it'll ruin the effect. As well, you're also going to want to add a cooldown of... I want to, I'm going to go ahead and say 100... Or no, this is in seconds, so go ahead and add a cooldown of 10 seconds because if you know ticks and this is 5 seconds here, but this will make it to where players can't just spam click it and cause tons of explosions. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Reload. There's the particles. Now of course you can do a lot more with it than you want. You can add more particles, you can add whatever you want. This is just a showcase, just to see what you guys can do with it. And if here in a minute I will show you, I literally have a little baby version of this. So let me go ahead and add this cooldown so I don't cause it to be messed up. 
there we go. Okay, so explosion mob 2B. Exact same thing, except it's a baby zombie. So that means the TNT is going to be even smaller than the original one. Look at that, isn't that a little adorable? Of course, with that, you're going to want to make the yield smaller. Um, unless, of course, you really want to mess with players and be like, why does the baby TNT do massive amounts of damage? Entirely up to you, but I wanted to keep it kind of realistic, so here's what this one looks like. Isn't that adorable? For that one, as you can see, I turned off block damage and fire. Last but not least, Elemental TNT. That's right, Elemental TNT. So what you're going to want for this one is you're going to want to have your casting mob started off. Here I have it using a skill called Ice Bomb 1. Um, basically all that does is just summons the Ice Bomb. And what's really cool is you can make it be whatever element you want. There's a really cool website called Minecraft Heads. And as you can see, there are all sorts of TNT. So you can do like normal TNT that does damage, black TNT that maybe insta-kills, uh, purple TNT that maybe teleports players to a really far radius upon being hit by the explosion, uh, orange that'll actually cause fire, yellow that'll just be huge, you know, green for poison, blue for ice, whatever you want. There's so many variants. I highly recommend doing different things with this. I went ahead and went with ice, but I did not use any of the textures, I just stuck with up down TNT. So let's go ahead and break that down. Here we have Ice Bomb, Husk, as you can see, all the general stuff you saw before. Um, but what this one's going to do is when it explodes, it's going to slow all players within the explosion radius, which I assume is 5. I could be wrong. but. It's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and reload here and spawn in our explosion mob. Because he is going to be the one that summons it on us. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll spawn him in. They're shooting out little, you know, sparks. And I was not within the radius of that. I apologize. That's, that's some false advertisement right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so here we go. It's right there. Boom. I now have slowness on me. Now if you're wondering why I'm not taking damage, it's because I have god mode enabled, if you saw at the beginning of the video, and TNT does lots and lots of damage. I'm wearing Blast Protection 3, and it still does a fair amount of damage for what it is that I'm wearing. So as you can see, that just did, that right there is 6 damage, 3 full hearts of me wearing uh, blast protection 3 all diamond armor so as you can tell these explosions do a lot of damage so I highly recommend being careful with these however as you can tell they can be a whole heck of a lot of fun so ladies and gentlemen that's all I've got for you today if you enjoyed this video or inspired by it please give me a thumbs up like subscribe comment down below if there's any mechanics you would like to see covered in the next video or feel free to message me on discord link in the description i will also have the minecraft heads website with the tnt link in the description and i will have all the files in a paste in link in the description you are welcome ladies and gentlemen your creations are going to go far and we're going to get there together thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see what you come up with in the future